<laughs> Hold still now. The doctor won't hurt you. What the heck is that thing? <laughs> Who gave it a bus saw? No time to explain. We've got to find a way out of here fast. There's the lift. Come on, hurry. Wait, guys, wait for me. Wow! Oof. Ouch. Come on, Captain Fills. You can make it. <sighs> Why are we moving? I don't know. Jump, Captain Fiddles! Jump! It's no use! I can't reach you! No! Dang it! He was so close to making it. If only I had made him a little bit taller. Ban Ban, what was that thing, and where is it taking Captain Fiddles? Uh, that thing is Dr. Fluffy Pants. Dr. Fluffy Pants? Seriously? And if I had to guess, I'd wager he's taking Captain Fiddles back to the medical wing to perform surgery on him. Surgery? But why? Captain Fiddles doesn't need surgery? Why, why would he do that to him? Because not too long ago, Dr. Fluffy Pants was a real practicing surgeon. And believe it or not, he was a very good one. A long time ago, he was a pediatrician. He would make sure the little boys and girls that became his patients were healthy and cared for. There we go. All better now. Thank you, Dr. Fluffy Pants. You're the best. He loved his job, and helping young ones grow up big and strong, he would do anything for them. Dr. Fluffy Pants, you're wanted in surgery. But he was a very talented surgeon, maybe the very best in the world. So most of his time was spent operating on adults. The problem was he also had a bad habit of getting overly creative with his work. All I wanted you to do was give me my sight back. And that's exactly what I did. No, you didn't! You turned me into some kind of cat-eyed freak! Oh, come now. You asked me for your sight back, and that's what I gave you. Plus the added bonus of night vision. But I don't want night vision! I just want regular vision! Dr. Fluffy Pants couldn't help himself. Every time someone asked him to perform a simple surgery, he'd always find a way to make it more complicated. When a young man came in with a broken nose, Dr. Fluffy Pants gave him a long trunk like an elephant. And when an elderly gentleman came in to try to regrow their hair, Fluffy Pants sent him home with the mane of a lion. Surgery after surgery, he continued to give his patients strange and outlandish fixes to their mundane health problems, and the public was getting increasingly angry even leading to riots outside his office. Until one day, they shut his practice down entirely. Dr. Fluffy Pants was devastated. He searched for more work, but with a reputation for mutilating his patients in weird and confusing ways, no hospital would hire him. And then one day, while reading the paper, he discovered something. A story about another surgeon with a proclivity much like his own. A surgeon doing groundbreaking work. And do you know who that surgeon was? Me. He became enamored by the story surrounding my kindergarten. He was obsessed over the rumors of my work. Until one day he got so worked up that he decided to see if the rumors were true with his own eyes. He broke into the kindergarten late at night in search of my lab. But as we all know too well, it's easy to get lost in here. Wow, there they are. But where are the real ones? Hmm, why does this one look so different? Hey, get back here. You can run, but you can't hide. Uh, hello? Why did you stop running? It's all real. The stories were true. Teach me. What? Teach me how to make your monsters, please. I never thought I would meet anyone that knows or cares as much about the advancement of the human species as I do. At first, I didn't know what to think, and then I decided, you know what, I've been meaning to get a lab assistant around here, why not? No one had ever seen the beauty in my experiments quite like he did, but that didn't excuse him from the fact that he was trespassing. And so you just strap them down, just like this. Whoa, cool! So this is what it would be like, huh? Wait, what are you doing? Sorry, Doctor, but there's a price for learning my secrets. 
No, wait, don't! Dr. Fluffy Pants hid in the surgery room for days after what I did to him. At first I thought it was because he was too ashamed to come out, but later I would come to find that what he was really doing was waiting for his first target. Who's there? What the? Is that me? <laughs> Wait! Which brings us to today. Nope. I haven't seen Coach Pickles in days. Huh, hope he's alright. Ah, uh, yes, my next appointment. You're right on time. Run! Look, I know what happened today was rough, but in reality, we should be thankful we made it out of there alive. Who knows what he would have done to us? And Melina, what are you doing? We have to save Captain Fiddles. It's the right thing to do. Fine, but I'm warning you. You have no idea how dangerous someone with his mind and strength can be. Stay quiet. I think I can hear him working. A little snip here, and a little snip there. Oops, where did I put my glasses? This needs a closer look. What the? Where's Captain Fiddles? <laughs> Back already, eh? Well, lucky for you, the doctor's always ready to see you. Enough, Dr. Fluffy Pants! We just want our friend back! Oh, you do, do you? Well, then you can have him! Captain Fiddles? No! What have you done to him? <laughs> he made him taller, just like I said earlier. Run for it! No, wait! There we go. All better now. Thank you, Dr. Fluffy Pants. You're the best. Here, why don't I take a closer look at that? <laughs> Stay away from me, you monster. But I just want to help. Like you help Coach Pickles? Why are Captain Fiddles here? I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. I don't want to hurt people anymore. I can still be a good doctor, I swear. Well, let's find out. There we go. All better now. Thanks, Dr. Fluffy Pants. That was actually really nice of you. Maybe you can use your gifts for good from now on. You know, we really could use a doctor in this place. Hmm, I'd love that. I'll take the job. 